Hello and welcome back to the Desert Stories. This is Sunita Sharma. Let's have a look at the headlines. Based on her social responsibility in supporting humanitarian initiative and her belief in the role of charitable action undertaken by civil society institutions, Her Highness the Honorable Lady Asaida Ahmed Abdullah Ahmed Al Busaidi, spouse of the Sultan of Oman, has issued directives to provide financial backing to the Fak Qurba or Ending Financial Crisis initiative through Ahad Foundation championed by Oman Lawyers Association the initiative contributed to the release of a number of eligible detainees who were charged with the financial claims in all governorates of the Sultanate of Oman The Sultanate of Oman expresses its sympathy for the Republic of the Philippines due to the floods and the landslides caused by the tropical storm that swept several regions of the country. The Ministry of Foreign said in a statement, the ministry expressed the Sultanate of Oman's sympathy with the Republic of Philippines due to the flood and the landslide caused by the tropical storm that swept several regions of the country and expressed its sincere condolences to the government and public of Philippines and to the families of the victims. We wish a speedy recovery for the injured. In an attempt to raise awareness about climate change and environment protection, Indian community members join hand for cleaning wadis, hiking trails across three different cities in Oman on 9th of April 2022 as a part of community service fortnight or seva utsav. The members from the Indian Social Club, Adventure Oman and other Indian nationals join hands to advocate for a clean and green Oman. The beaches and hiking trails at Bandar Al Khairan Near Muscat were clean and approximately 200 kg of trash was collected and properly disposed of by the enthusiastic participants. Ambassador Amit Narayan commended the effort by the Indian community and hoped that such activities will go a long way in instilling sensitivity towards the conservation of environment. Motorists in Dubai can now pay for parking tickets through popular mobile app WhatsApp. The Road and Transport Authority said on its website, "This will allow vehicle owner to save 30 fares on SMS. To pay via WhatsApp, the vehicle owner has to write down the plate number and zone number duration. The parking ticket cost will be deducted from the digital wallet of the motorist." Director of the Communication and Information Technology Regulatory Authority, Salem Al Athena says. The authority has a vision to prioritize the field of information security in all sectors of the country. This vision was planned through an integrated program that qualifies Kuwaitis in all sectors. The preparation of a security policy to protect sensitive national data from infiltration or transfer abroad has been completed. It will be issued soon and the state sector will start implementing it. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more desert stories till then take care thank you